Now, I tell you what, if you want to save money in the garden, this is the best way to do it. It's transplanting mature plants, because often they're in the wrong spot, and winter is the time to do it. This beautiful big arum is taro, and it's the root of taro that you eat. You can roast it or it can be ground up as a flower, but it is fantastic when it's been baked. It really is terrific. They should not be growing along the edge of the creek because they can run absolutely wild. Now, transplanting, there is an art to it. There's all sorts of things that you can transplant, and I'll show you a few of the different options after I've put this in the pot. Now, the interesting thing about this plant is you don't need to do an awful lot to get it to take off. You can see I'm just squeezing it in with another great chunk of this taro. Now, it is a fantastic plant, but it's a water plant. So I'm not putting it into the veggie patch as such. I'm actually putting it into the pond. And it's quite happy to actually get growing there. It'll fill out, and it means that it's really easy to harvest the roots out of these pots. Ferns are an ancient surviving plant, and these staghorns are quite amazing feature plants. Underneath are elk horns, and they're highly sought after. Now, the difference between the two is these are great big singular plants, but all of these here are individual plantlets. So you can, by cutting behind them, you can actually remove shields and you can grow brand new plants. Now, this is a whole different form of transplanting. And I'm going to take this one up and set it on another feature plant that I've transplanted from another location that I think you're going to love. Now, how's this for a fantastic tree? It's a frangipani. It used to live in somebody else's backyard. It's about 30 years old and it was going to get knocked over. Now, I found out about it and I went in and transplanted it. And uh, we dug it out, moved it here, we had a fair bit of root damage to it, and uh, we just soaked the roots in sea salt. Now, that is one of the keys to transplanting success. It's a fantastic product. Seaweed, it has some plant hormones in there that really reduces transplanting shock. Now, you can see four months later, this particular tree is just starting to burst foliage, and it looks fantastic. Now, there's a couple of secrets to success. You can also spray Stress Guard, which is an anti-transparent. It stops moisture leaving the leaves. And in the case of ferns, you have to do it. So spraying over the foliage like this, it's going to reduce the shock process. And this stuff's actually used on very, very large trees. Now, the other thing is sea salt. But in this case, we actually soak all of the crown around the back of this. So it ends up nice and moist, and it really does help it get off to the best possible start. Now, these are the secrets to success if you want to transplant, and you can add enormous value to your garden. This French would be worth well over $30,000 if you could buy it. And these fellas here, well, each little one's probably worth about 50 bucks. Cost me nothing to do this, and now look how good they're going to look in my garden.